G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. Let's talk about how Hocking's eyes defend themselves against an ant attack. Well, looky down here in this hive and you can see the ants are deciding to have a little feed and an attack on this hive. Nothing to be concerned about in North Queensland. This is quite common and they've scored a few bees along the way. Now, what do Hocking's eyes do about attacks like this? You can see in it, uh, that bee just there in front of us. He's trying to dab the ants with something in his mouth. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hang on. Oh, I've gone too far. Silly me. There he is. And other bees are doing the same. They try to dab the ants with what people mistakenly think is resin. And if you look just there, you'll see a dab mark down just there. I'll show other examples of this as well. And people think, oh, they're depositing resin on the bees. No, they're not. They're actually secreting a substance from inside their body. Now, I don't know if it's from the head or the stomach, but they spit it out on top of the ants to put them off. So they don't put resin down. It's a substance they secrete out of their body. And this is how, or one of their mechanisms of defense. And you can actually do this and see it on when you open up a Hocking's Eye hive and you see suddenly the Hocking's Eyes get stuck on your arm. And you wonder why are they sticking to the hairs of your arm? Well, the guard bees are upset. They're secreting the sticking substance out of their heads. And of course it gets tangled up in the hairs of your arms and chest and they get stuck there. Hang on a second. Now you can see here the bees are really gathering around these ants, trying to dab them with the stuff. They come out in waves. Now you can actually induce this uh, sticky stuff out of a Hocking's eye bee by simply grabbing a guard bee, putting it on your arm and teasing him and he will get so aggro that he will spit and stick himself to your arm. You can see a bee like this one. They're not scared to come out and try to dab other um, the ants and whatever. So as I said, this is behavior that is characteristic of Hocking's eye as far as I can tell. No other bee does it, or I haven't seen it. Let's word it another way. If I get up and down, you can see the dabbing marks, hopefully, on the uh, surface as well. So that's how they defend themselves. That's why they stick to you. Hocking's eyes at least. And it's not resin. And what do you see after an attack? Those who have honeybees have heard of the bees doing washboarding. And that's when they're out cleaning up the hive and removing all scents or scent marks, foreign scent marks. Well, native bees do the same thing. So the ant attack is now finished. And as I move in, you can see ants, oh sorry, bees doing the equivalent of washboarding. Cleaning up the hive, removing all the ant scent. They're not doing it just there, they're doing it right across the front. Not to the extent you see in honeybees, but they still washboard. And you can see it there. Let me zoom in. And you can see them there. They're just busily working, removing all the foreign scent that the ants have laid down 
in other words to make it clean and not attract further ants also note those deposits that were down earlier not there anymore all cleaned up so as you can see quite tidy just like honeybees